this laptop from my sister. It's a Dell Inspiron 3583. And I, I had the back cover off because I had this charging issue. Um, and I didn't get the original power supply for it, charging cord. I had this one laying around. It's a 45 watt. But when I um, plugged it in, it would always say that there was, uh, it couldn't determine. I got this, this message here on my screen. And I looked in the BIOS and I couldn't see anything. So, I what I did was I, I cut the cord. See, it would, it would run, but it wouldn't charge the battery. And, um... So I, I had this one and I didn't know if something was wrong with it. I cut this and then I ohmed out the um, connector here on the end. Um, this connector here, you can see I already cut it open. It has three wires going to it. Um, the blue one goes to the center pin in the middle. You can probably see there's a little tiny pin in the middle. That blue one was broken when I ohmed it off ohmed it out and um anyway the uh black goes to this outer sh outer part here that's the negative the positive is the white wire here and that goes to kind of inner part of that shell and then the blue one the blue one does data so it's tell the there's some kind of chip in the um power supply in this cube that communicates with the uh, some kind of chip in here that tells it what kind of power supply it is anyway so what I did was I cut this connector open and I resoldered the wires on there if you got time like me and you want to figure something out so I resoldered the wires on I took the old wires off unsoldered them and now it works it charges because before that, the, the computer wasn't getting the data off this blue line, so it didn't know what kind of power supply was plugged into it, so it wouldn't charge the battery. It would run, run the laptop. So. Anyway, all's well that ends well. When I cut this uh, off, I just used one of these splices, cheap splices, but they come in handy for experimenting and testing stuff, so I'll probably... I'll solder those wires back together and put heat shrink on them. But I wanted to show show this part of the fix before I tape it up in case anybody else ever wants to try fixing one. Here's an interesting side note. When I had it plugged in before, I have it plugged into a power monitor and um, it was only drawing 8 watts. That was just enough to supply the computer. But now it's charging and so it's taking 24 watts because it's finally charging that battery up in there. So, all's well, it ends well. <laughs>